Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to another little video. Uh, another Venice one again today, but it's going to be just basically one big shape. So just with a bit of support. So I'll take a bit more time on the on the drawing than I normally do. I normally would have finished the drawing by now. Once again I won't adhere religiously to the It's very common. Here. We'll have some bolts. And just some suggestion of buildings over there. I might put something there, just some bolts. I don't know, I'll see how the paint goes on. So I took my time with that, drawing it, it only really took a couple of minutes. Mutual palette, cobalt, French ultramarine, brown matter, yellow ochre, two colours. Keep saying it's mutual palette, I forget what colours are. 25 colours, plus. All this stuff from your palette. I'm going to try a different setup so we can try and get a camera. I can clip onto there actually, just function down my palette. I don't really uh, know much about me the setup and everything. Thanks for all your likes and all the comments. Appreciate them all, and most of them. <laughs> I've been told off for the mumbling. One of the comments. Well, to be fair, I think I thought most people are going to watch the painting, not listen to me talk garbage. Oh well, this is just some luck from me. Palette and yellow ochre mixed. That, that's a big brush, big brush get everywhere. <laughs> just, this is again just muck. I don't want these edges to dry. Just the main um, thing in this painting is going to be the background building. And if you haven't backlit, because the sun's behind it, because there's all the sun. The cloud, having backlit, they're on the shadow. So you've got to put any detail in. And this also supplies a base, base wash for the next part, which is going to be this big, this building, which is going to require a lot of paint. Let me brush at this end. A lot more freedom. And paint me your arm as well. It's taking maybe too much time on this to be fair. And straight lines across, right down to the horizon. Don't have to bother with the 
the wall set. Yeah, I want a broken edge. A straight broken edge. That'll do for now. Now I'm going to go straight in. I'll try and time on this. And I'll have to remember this camera stops after about 15 minutes, so I'm going to keep starting and stopping it. Yo! I won't see it on the video because I'll just edit that out. At least I've got. I've learned how to edit these videos pretty poorly compared to some of the comments. <laughs> This, I am just going to colour it in. Put it in so it's fuzzy. No details whatsoever. These white bits of mist, accidentally. They make some sort of windows. So you gap, a bit of light. But we start off at the bottom. I need that straight. Somebody's doing that, you lose that broken edge. Start off at the bottom, leave the top bit a bit more time to dry. You want some sharp edges up there. And all I'm painting this with is. The two blues, me ultramarine, the cobalt, and the brown ladder, just to create a nice purple. You'd like to get the exact same mix as the tenon. I'm just using an old calligraphy brush, I've actually chopped the point off it, so it's acting more like a mop brush. The moment. There's no detail in this whatsoever at the moment. Probably that much at the end, to be honest. But we're just using the same three colours. And as I'm getting towards the top, I'll just give this a try. I'm outside my pencil lines there, but I'm not bothered. symmetrical. I'm inside my lines again there. It won't get there. It'll fill it but Drying. Make it down so it goes to the bottom. Ooh, that's done. That's done. Well, good. What is that? <laughs> blue, a bit of raw paint then. This is where people think you get the board in. I'll just take 
like that because that's building ends there. Yeah. See how that turns out. All right, I'm hoping that top bit will be a bit dry now. So Yeah, I'll be doing. I haven't done anything, just coloring it. Just coloring it. Bit of detail on the top. Oh, we haven't touched my turquoise yet. A bit of turquoise in it. In places. So this is all still wet, so it's still. So good to paint on. Not making any sharp marks. It'll paint itself. Should left that for turquoise along, I think. Leave that to look after itself for the moment. Get some tissue paper. And there's a bit of sun streaking through in places. But the dangles join each other. I think I'll leave that for a bit. Right. Fresh, well, clean water, cleanish. Bit too coisy. I know if that's going to bleed. Go back into the main wash. Yellow even. Yeah, it's a bit yellow. Then go back a bit delicate. Let's brush it too small. Huh? Yeah, I think it's come to larger. Yeah, we'll let that dry. And I think we will connect some stuff, bits of stuff there. Bolts. Suggestion. The things suggesting something happening. So, now that's drying quite nicely. Clean water. Don't really want to get much of it into the water. That's drying, the water's 
soaking up the paint. And for the paint, and you're getting oh, where have done my bolts? Oh, did that's what I was going to do one, didn't it? <laughs> I will, but. So yeah, I'll just run that off. So that's still your camera's still working. Right, I'll just turn my camera off and on again, so you won't miss anything. <laughs> yeah, my camera only does, let's say, about 15 minutes and it turns off it on. I'm saying anything. Right, I believe that once again, it's paint itself. And now this is the time where I could have me turning my camera Because <laughs> I think I'm going to leave this to dry. Just do some waves. I'll suggest in ripple. Yeah. Just not much. It's probably dry so you won't even see them. And I'm not, don't care about all these bits that seeped in. Oh, that's to it. Just some sort of reflection creeping through. The colours that I'm using. Once again, it's better, because this is still drying. And that building's going back now. It's drying, it's getting lighter, it's receding. Just going to put a flat bolt here, some lines, some lines, some posts, just a suggestion of ripples. Water. No, we're going to let that flow into that. I was going to change that, but no. Oops, the water's still dry. Some bolts there, smoke. Smoke from the bolts. And there's a flat brush. Well, this is drying. I've lost my stick. Probably. Let's see. This is just a quick painting it's not you, know, you don't need every single detail thrown at it and just a quick sketch if anything but while this is drying a bit now I've got some turquoise and some in red because red and the green they make it grey and flat brush rapid stroke to symbolise the boat. And some things boom. See flat brushes are already turning on the side here at a point. Well that sounds that's rasple. <laughs> Obvious to me the same. Just do this drying a bit. It's nearly done, it's nearly. Well, what I was trying to achieve. Let's put a little there. Uh, see, that's still back. My fingers just make that mark. I might. Yeah, let's put some suggestions of things. But I'll do, just leave it. I quite like that lavender that's gone into it and the turquoise. So as it's drying, I'll just keep flicking, flicking stuff into that. See, that's peeled up, so that's going to take a while to dry. And it's going to spread back up to make one of these cauliflower things. But it's under a bolt, so we'll just say that's a bit of smoke. I think it needs a bit dark. 
another suggestion of a bolt there and we can paint along the top around the bolt and I'm going to class this as nearly done some birdies in Pigeons. Ooh, that's good. That feels still wet, that. That's what I'm doing. Blue, which will go back. This is more of an um, opaque, it's still a watercolour, but it's still opaque. And some posts with your fingers. I do like that one. That will be straight. And that's leak there, which I don't mind at all. Made that into one of these. Well, I am going to leave that to dry now. I say I don't mind it, I could have done without it, I suppose. No, that right. Ads, all oh, ads. So we're going to go back and say, okay. a lot of people start panicking about that. Just leave them. Even that's going to spread. I'll turn this off now and come back. When it's dry, I'll just... I'll see what it dries like and then add some detail. Set this tape off this now. I think that should be. I'll see me out of it. I don't know what that's going to look like. Right. Could have done without that happening, but. Doing that with the thicker paint, darker paint, be careful because it leaves obviously leaves a mark on the paper. So if you go into it again on the same place, I'll turn it off and I'll come back in a bit. See you in a bit. I'll come back into it straight away. There's a um, little bit strained that I just want to work, not work on, I just. Where the um, the buildings meet the water, and I might just carry that well, out of there. Just put that darker. Not dark, not so much that darker. Just that one, the one that likes showing as much. Taking your eye out the painting. 
Oh, well, it's still dry. Get some spray. And that'll bring more atmosphere up into the background. And if I just get some lab in there and some white, we'll take the tape off and have a look. Water's bringing that paint out again. Especially on old buildings. Or really old, like Venice. And I've gone straight into my lavender there. Suggestion of blue bolts. And I will add a bit of white some places. The what will do when that's dry is make that into um, a water taxi thing. It's all still wet. No, I'll pick up a bit. Well, I think that'll do, we'll take the tape off and reassess it. Sorry if I've been mumbling. But hopefully you pay more attention with your eyes and these. So it's just a quick... See, so once it's totally dry, I might go back into it. Because these pools are going to explode back up into the painting, which... A lot of people despise. I don't know why. No, I, suppose it's, I suppose it's the sort of way that you paint. If you have a really, really fine detail and you know, stuff, fantastic stuff that probably take a few, a good few hours, days possibly. And I don't think you'd appreciate these rubber mats. Once you're just flinging it on and just Sometimes when you're in a hurry, you only get half, half an hour. It makes you work. You know, work a lot quicker. But just a little sketch that I quite a big painting, but just a quick sketch of atmospheric Venice. Okay, well, I hope you like it. It's a bit different. See you all again. Bye.